for tuning in earth signs this is your three card read your current situation your obstacle advice i'm with the lovely jordan here hi earth signs <laughs> she'll be clarifying for us today and i already meditated cut the cards might as well do it there you go there there's your card trick for the day but anyway current situation obstacle advice i'm going to do the overall energy and it's my little explorer here my little dragon trainer you know studying learning about a passion i love this is one of my favorite cards by the way because anybody that wants to train dragons well they're a special person so that's what i get there and you want to do your energy and we'll start the reading yeah is that the page of swords that came out it is the page of wands page of wands okay Yep, my little dragon trainer. What do we have, please, for the earth signs? Overall energy. Got the ten of wands. Interesting. Hmm. Well, there's a lot of passion. Lots of going fire on energy, there. earth signs. You could have fight you could be dealing with fire in your surroundings. You could have it strongly in your chart too. Well, let's go with the current situation. Okay, Earthies. Here we go. Oh, man, I love it, too. It's the four of wands, another wand. <laughs> so anyway, right now there's a union. There is stability. There is joy. There is a stability coming in. You might be learning about a new way in this environment for you. And I don't want to talk too much, Jordan, until you clarify, but we opened it up with the four of wands. Very wandy. Very wild. Very a lot of fire in your surroundings right now, Earth signs. All right, let's get a clarifier on that four of wands. Interesting. Okay. For my Earth signs, using the wild unknown, a very earthy deck. We have the Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini here. Okay. I'm going to actually get one more, but one more before I read that Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords in the Wild Unknown is a particularly sharp one for me. Interesting. She came out with the Eight of Swords. The Queen is the ruler of that Eight of Swords. So now we have it in the Four of Wands. Hmm. There's definitely some truth going on here in this, uh, in this union. That's what I'm getting right off the top. What do you think? The four of wands can be an actual home or a house or a job. It's a structure. It's something that you exist within. For this queen of swords here, what I think could be happening is that what, you're, you're in a state of confusion due to your living environment. I think your home and your environment is making it impossible for you to escape your own mind for some reason. This queen of swords is not naturally, you can see how this butterfly, oops, sorry, backwards. This butterfly has already fully developed in the cocoon, but is a little afraid to come out of that cocoon state to emerge into full rebirth energy because the landscape is a little perilous. So the butterfly is like, no, I'm going to hang out here until it's a little safer. Queen of swords being very strategic about when, how, and what to release. This could have to do with your home. It could have to do with your job. She double clarified there. That was very smart. So what we're going to do here is now the obstacle. That sounds to me already there are some obstacles in this scenario. But let's, let's ask the universe. Oh, okay. Well, the obstacle is judgment. Um, I'm definitely say saying this right now. An obstacle of rising above where you are is definitely an obstacle. You feel like you cannot rise above or get out of the ashes. You can't escape. You can't see, look at this beautiful thing. You've got people coming out of their graves, you know, the old you, the old thing, the old life coming out of the dirt, rising, resurrecting with some new beautiful things, hearing a trumpet, which is to me the sign or seeing a sign. Again, with this page of wands here, I definitely want to stress to the point that this page of wands is always learning about the passion, learning about the passion, learning for the passion, definitely. So before I talk too much, we have judgment on the obstacle, Jordan. There you go. Okay, let's get a clarifier for judgment. Scorpio and Sag energy there. Okay, mm-hmm. We have the Empress, Libra and Taurus, Venus energy and divine feminine, the Empress and judgment. Let's get one more. 
something here is trying to come to an end in your life and it's it's actually becoming a bit of a burden for you with that page of wands and the 10 of wands it's like part of you is like is it almost over is it over yet too many i just want one more for this empress energy here empress queen of swords and four of wands you could be married you could be looking to get out of a home a marriage situation yep two of pentacles that's exactly what's happening you're waiting you're biding your time and you're keeping your mouth closed why there's some kind of strategy that you're laying with this queen of swords eight of swords eight of swords means you're locked up in your mind but you're also not telling anyone what's happening and it has to do with a four of wands then we move to the challenges and we have you kind of holding steady in empress energy trying to get what you deserve out of a situation and being, you know, kind of like holding, 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 juggling the energies. You're being very, very strategic here, Earth signs. Oh, and it's the high priestess. I love that. Yeah. So, you know, before I start talking too much about the high priestess and the advice, I think it's best if you clarify on that. Because I, I this, is a, this is a pretty heavy card right here to have in the advice. I'm smiling for two reasons. First of all, color me surprised, right? The Queen of Swords not talking, not saying. You definitely are strategizing something that you're not talking about. The second reason my, I'm laughing is because every time I qualify the, or I clarify the High Priestess, the High Priestess is like mute. I'm not telling you any more than that. But let's see. We get judgment. Okay. Judgment for the second time. So you're in the process of freeing yourself from something. That's for sure. You're being really strategic. You're not talking about it. You're not telling anyone what you're up to yet, the world. There's the completion of a cycle, and that goes with the Ten of Wands. I want one more. I want to know what this Queen of Swords is strategizing here. <laughs> yeah. We had two more. Okay. Okay. The Nine of Swords, which is the Queen of Swords territory. We go from the Eight to the Nine of Swords. How are you going to get freedom? Remember I talked about that butterfly not able to emerge because of the landscape below? Look at the emergence now coming out of the brambles here, the difficulty. You want to rebirth, but you're being very strategic about how you go about doing that. There could be a lot of obstacles and challenges around you. As the Empress, you might be married. There might be something within your home environment that's making it very hard for you to get free and to put an end to a long and difficult cycle with the world and the Ten of Wands and judgment. It's like you are, you've made your decision. You're not telling anyone what your moves are. And it looks to me like you're strategizing a way out of, of a difficult situation. We read Earth Signs, I'm telling you. I think it's pretty heavy, but um, it, uh, I'm hoping this might help. Um, one thing I, I do want to go back to the Page of Wands. It's very strategic. I'm learning. I'm studying. And I said, you know, they learn to slay dragons. So maybe the big thing in your life, maybe this problem is a dragon to you. But with this page of wands, it studies the dragon and it learns how to slay them. They become pets, whatever, but they do train them. <laughs> That's what I got. You want to do an oracle? I actually just, I felt the need to draw one more around that 10 of wands, page of wands. And I got the fool. Aries Major Arcana, from the Ten of Wands to the Fool and the world, you want to be free. You just want to be free. And you want to start off with a whole new adventure in your life. And you're strategizing how to do that, how to put an end to something that's holding you back from being able to do that. Are we ready for, oh, you guys, on the bottom of the deck, I spotted the Emperor. Yeah. The Emperor, the Empress, Judgment twice in the Four of Wands. I think we're looking at a separation of a marriage here. And then the Fool. So let's get some Oracle cards to, woo, intense. All right. Let's go to the Wisdom of the Oracle. For my Earth signs, whoever's resonating. You could resonate on either side of this reading, by the way. Yeah, okay. Happy, happy. Exactly. From the Ten of Wands to the Fool, look at the difference in that energy. 
earth signs. Happy, happy is the fool out of the darkness and into the light. Um, let's do the lover's oracle. This can come out as advice. So, of course, take it only as it resonates, you guys. Earth signs, what do we have? Look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. Eight of swords, queen of swords. Looking inside yourself, right? Seeing what makes you feel this way. And what makes you feel like you're unable to get free. That's a very important component here. Let's do one more just because this is a very big reading. When it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make just expands your understanding of life and love. Very good advice for that queen of swords because there can be a tendency to want to be absolutely sure. And what this is saying is there is no right or wrong. Follow your heart, happy, happy, and you will get there. Be heavy, heavy read, guys. So um, I hope this found you well. I'm grateful I was here today. and uh, Me just... too, you guys. Just remember, you're this close in your overall energy. The fool is there. You're almost there. Nice work, Earth Signs.